Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to show you how using an iPhone and the Garmin Connect mobile app, you can send a GPX file that you've either emailed yourself, you may have it in the downloads on your phone, to your compatible Garmin watch. So you may have planned your route on something like our free GPS training OS planner, as per the videos above this one, and then downloaded it to your computer. When you've downloaded that GPX file to your computer, if you simply email it to yourself, so you get it on an email on your phone, which is the example I'm going to show here on the iPhone, where I've got an email that's come through with an attachment as a GPX file, I'm now going to select to open that GPX file with a Garmin Connect app that I've downloaded to my phone and paired with my compatible watch, so I can then navigate that course on my watch. So on the email, I've got the attachment, Simon Side Hills GPX. So if I touch on the attachment, it'll open it, but it'll just show you a load of text that we can't use. But you'll see in the bottom left of the screen, on the iPhone, we have a blue square box with an arrow up. That's the share icon to share and open this GPX file with an app that you have on your phone. So if I touch on that icon at the bottom left, I can then scroll left or right until I see the app Connect for Garmin Connect. If I touch on Garmin Connect, it then opens up a screen that says what type of course is this that you're sending to the app. So I've got the option of hiking, which this is a hiking course. I could select one of the other options or simply other if it's not listed. So if I select hiking, it now shows an overview of the route that I've just planned on our free OS planner. If I swipe up from the bottom of the screen, the little line at the bottom, you can see the elevation profile and it's got the course name there as well, Simon Side Hills. I can amend the name there if need be. And the important one, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it says turn notifications. They're actually turned off. So if I send this course to the watch and the turn notifications are off, we have found even with the navigation, turn alerts turned on your compatible watch, you don't get them. So just make sure if turn notifications is something you want to use and they're turned off. Little tab at the bottom is now blue. They're now turned on. And I'm just going to touch save at the top right. I get the option of making this private or um, public. So if I leave it as private, what I've noticed is um, is private. It's actually changed the name of the course to just where this activity was recorded from, Morpeth Hiking. So what I'm going to do after saying done, I always go back and just check the name is correct because I find sometimes the name has changed. So if I swipe up from the bottom now, I can see it's changed the course name from Simon Side Hills to Morpeth Hiking. That's just data it's actually taken from um, the course that's been sent to the app. So what I'm actually going to do is now just touch on the three blue dots at the top right of the screen, select edit, and then again swipe up from the bottom of the screen, the little grey line. Keep swiping up till I see course name and I'm going to rename it. It's just something to watch out for. I don't know why it happens. Sometimes it keeps with the name, but I have noticed it sometimes changes the name. So I'm just going to call that one Simon Side Hills and then just hit the little return and the little blue back arrow at the top left and then I must save it. That is now saved and ready to send to my compatible watch. I can see at the top now it says Simon Side Hills. If I touch on the three blue dots again at the top right of the screen, I've got the option send to device. I can see the watch that I've got connected, the Epics. So I touch on Epics and that's it basically done. Little blue back arrow to come back out of there, back out again. Just keep hitting the blue back arrow at the top. And then at the very bottom of the screen, if I want to go back to My Day, the main screen you see on the Garmin Connect app, I touch on My Day. If you want to make sure it's definitely synced, you can just touch on the three, the, sorry, the two blue arrows to the right of your watch icon at the top of the screen where you've got the little green dot to show your watch connected and let a complete circle go around the watch to show that it is syncing that course across. Final tip I'm going to show you on the iPhone. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, I've got the icon courses. We've got my day, challenges, calendar and courses. That lets me go back and look at any courses that I've sent to the phone. Now, as default, you don't have that courses tab at the bottom ribbon. So to add that to the iPhone the way we have, you would select on the more tab, the bottom right, then select edit the top right. So I'm just going to remove courses by hitting the little minus symbol. 
and scroll down the list to news feeds because this is how it would normally be as default so that's what you'd normally see as default if i save that now you can see i haven't got courses at the bottom so if i repeat that process from my day just touch on more at the very bottom right of the screen select edit the top right and where it says news feeds i'm going to remove that one with a little red circle in the minus tap on there and scroll down to um, courses hit the little plus next to courses and then save and it makes it much easier now you've got courses at the bottom of the ribbon when we touch on courses we can find any courses that you've got in your garmin connect app you can then select any of your courses three blue dots at the top and send to device to send to your compatible device a little tip if you are using the garmin explore app as well you're better off having that closed down when you're using the garmin connect app because it doesn't like both apps open together when you're sending something to your compatible watch and we hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching